So, so I was going to name this guy like Eppin Prince, but it turns out the limitations of the spelling just allow me to name him Eppin Print. And thinking about it, it's like I kind of like that. So w let's welcome Eppin Print, everybody. He seems pretty happy to be on our group. Um. Oh man, I got. That's right. My thing is filled. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna take him because. First off, Phoenix. I don't need Phoenix. <laughs> I, I, I don't need Phoenix. See, I didn't mean to keep Phoenix. Phoenix was just something I had. <laughs> Look who's back, baby. I guess you are. You guys seriously just saved my life. Oh, the name's Snow. I came to butt kick the big jiggle lurking in this swamp. And then along the way, I saw this awesome golden toad and thought, man, you don't see too many of those, but who knew that things are contagious? So then toad me was all like, what am I even going to do? Could I really eat flies or live on lily pads? Deep questions. But then you all came along and saved my warts. Woo! You guys are the best! <laughs> For real, bro. Dude, I have no idea what's wrong with you, but as long as you're happy. Did Mom just find someone he can talk the dome to? Never the thought I'd see the day. So, what's your deal? Where are you from? You say you got swept here all the way from Nibelheim? Wow. <laughs> here I thought I had it pretty rough. I mean, Nibelheim, isn't that one continent up? How are you guys even alive? I know, it's so crazy. I guess we're getting kind of pro at it? I don't want to be a pro at it. Anyway, it seems we're the stuck here. All the goop around here makes it the hard to look for a way out. Oh yeah, well you got that right. One false step and whoosh, you're history. Okay, then how did you get out here, Snow? <laughs> Just like this. I could say I was, but no. Sadly, summoner is way too fancy a word for what I am. Huh? But that's not important. So, what's the game plan? I don't mind showing you the way out if that's what you want. How about you? Are you still gonna butt kick the big jiggle or whatever it was? You know it. It shouldn't be too far from where we are now. So it's like a mirage? Yep. Me and Jiggles have got some history. I gotcha. Then maybe we can help you out. Uh, really? We're sort of on a journey to round up mirages anyway. So basically, the more you butt kick, the more we profit. Ah, uh, I got you now. Well, let's team up then. That stupid big jiggle will never know what hit it. Oh, did, did it have to be snow? <laughs> At least I can access my prism case. Uh, hey, buddy. I was not ready for snow today. But at the very least, I made myself an extra strong drink just so I could deal with everything I have to put up with. If I'm going to have snow in, in the mix, I don't, I don't need this guy. You, you can go away for it. You were fantastic while well, it lasted. Uh, let me think. You know what? While I'm at it, while I'm at it, all of y'all can see my mirages. Aren't they pretty? Aren't they fantastic? I'ma put Squiggles back in my party. I might as well just complete the lineup. At the very least, if I run into something I want more into more of an access point, I can at least do that. But for the time being, I think Squiggles, Squiggles should be back in the group. At least. That makes me feel better about the situation, and I don't! <laughs> oh, was that a plan? I couldn't see past future rule. 
Why do all the mirages here like popping out at us? It must be the part of their disposition. Too bad. I got here first. Uh, yeah, you the town. Mirages be warned. Disposition is Lon's position. I'm not a fan of Final Fantasy 13. So, I don't know, I've never really ranted about Final Fantasy 13, and I mean, I could, but, like, a lot of people rant about Final Fantasy 13. Is there really anything to say no, about no, it, no, other no, than, so uh, it's, it's not great? I mean, from my point of view, from my perspective, you see, I was foolish enough to be so stubborn not to put down the game at a certain extent, I beat it. So I experienced all the horror that you can when it, playing Final Fantasy XIII. Grand, I, I, it's not like the worst thing I ever played, but it could have been so much better. <laughs> why is snow in our, why snow? Couldn't, couldn't you pick someone else? I'd almost take anybody. Well, preferably Saz, because, like, out, out of the whole group, like, Saz, Saz was pretty alright. Like, in terms of Final Fantasy XIII, I have to at least give props to Saz. You see, when it came to Final Fantasy XIII, hey, look, use physical text to imprison this thing. Uh, all of y'all care, you can do that. I don't. Uh, so, like, I like Saz. Saz was one of the few things about 13 that I, I dug, you know, because Final Fantasy 13 had a lot of things going against it. A lot of things I would rant and complain and say, bullshit, 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 bullshit. And, and I could do that, you know, it's not anything new you, that you haven't heard. But if Saz was in the game, I'd be like, alright, you know what, I'm sure this makes a lot of sense, because at least in Final Fantasy 13, I can understand Saz's like point of view for being in the situation he doesn't want to he doesn't strike me as a character that wants to be anywhere in that situation but the thing about Saz that makes sense is the fact that he's trying to save his son his son was like contacted by um the the bad guys I can't think of any other word than to to quote unquote say the bad guys you know because you have the villains and they're pretty much the bad guys because I mean that pretty much boils down to what the antagonists were uh Grant, at a certain point I, I thought to myself wait a second sure they're creating some sort of witch hunt yeah you probably could say there's a reason behind the witch hunt but and it, but think about it all the protagonists are doing are creating some sort of terrorist like plot and by the end of the game like they're pretty much chalked up to being a terrorist and then like further further brought out the fact that they don't know what the heck they're doing but they're like man surely if we just like try to fight this one guy who constantly wants us to fight him because it brings upon the apocalypse of the entire world and everyone dies surely something good will happen out of it and you you think oh man they can't be that stupid but they just keep falling for space future popes like plan of being like yeah, fight me come on beat me you you want to beat me right when really he's just trying to say yeah I'm, I'm leading you to this one thing if you kill it it brings on the apocalypse and you're like man I can't believe they'd be this stupid cuz surely they have to be a little more confident than this oh, please, please lightnings with them she's pretty confident she's able to do stuff and and you keep thinking man like at least there's maybe two or three people that are competent in this group but all of them are just falling for the same ploy of like and taking his time them into bringing on the apocalypse and by the end sure bullshit ex machina happens and it's like oh well i guess everything resolved i feel very unfulfilled by this whole predicament that, that, that's basically final fantasy 13 in a nutshell i feel very I'm fulfilled by this whole predicament. Grant, there was two other games that proceeded after it, and it's like, may maybe all the answers lie within that, but uh, I, I don't know. Something about it just rubs me the wrong way of playing, like, two other games related to this one game where basically Lightning just punches God in the face and tells him, Fuck off! I mean, that that is essentially the vibe I got when 
it comes to Final Fantasy 13, and Snow did not help. Sans was the only saving grace, because he's a dad, and his son was captured by the bad guys, and it's like, he doesn't really want to be there, but he wants to save his son, and he loves his son, and it's like, I can get behind that, you know? It's like, if any parent was in that situation, they'd probably do the same thing, and so it's like, yeah, I, I, I totally get it. I totally buy it. I, I understand this. This is a good plot motivation, and I respect it. And that's all I'm going to say about 13, because there's really nothing else I want to bring to light other than just that. I mean, that that's my small rant. This has been Geldum's mini rant on the, the oddities and, and traumatizations. Um, Squiggles, you will save the day when trying to figure out this puzzle. Oh, I may have not have planned this out as good as I have thought, but, um... You know what? It looks like it's all irrelevant, because I've, I've met the conditions, I've done the thing! <laughs> Gildum, you've done it! <laughs> and not, not me talking in the third person, I'm talking about Mirage Gildum, you've done it! I didn't think you'd be able to actually make this happen, but lo and behold, you did a thing. Yeah, you, you did good. I'm proud. I'm a proud. I'm a proud player of the representation of the Mirage. I don't really know what I'm trying to say at this point. M Marlboro, what are you doing here, man? That phony future rule is getting on my nerves, and I know it was all fruitless because I, I think we have an alternate path. I had to change Pip up into her alternate form. Thinking about it, I should probably switch out Pip up for something different. Also, I like that we're getting level ups. I have no idea what I what to do other than uh, give me a second, everybody. I gotta make a quick cut just to rearrange the party deck. I came to butt kick the big jiggle lurking in the swamp. Alright, I'm resuming back because, you know, mini cut had to do a couple things. Uh, first thing to note, Rain is equipped with the Suna Mirror Jewel. Also, I should note that everyone has four Mirror Jewel spots because I'm level 40, and as we all know, they go in increments of 20, uh, even number 20. But either way you put it, I should be good. I put Chaz on my team because it's important. Because, you see, you're going on a side path. And as we all know, special things happen when you do that. Like, rare mirages. And, you know, I, I gotta go hunt everything that I can. Also, I find it adorable. Look at that. We got the mini plan and the mega... Or, I was gonna say mega plan, but it's just a regular plan. There's nothing mega about it. And, God forbid, they add mega evolutions. Because that would completely break the whole universe of World of Final Fantasy. I mean, sure, it's a thing in World of, er, World of Pokemon, everybody. It's gonna happen, no. It's a thing in Pokemon now, but I don't know. I feel like, I feel like Nintendo has kind of overshadowed it. You know, they, they just kind of had it in Gen 6, and they never really did anything with it. I mean, sure, it's awesome, and it's cool, and there's like this video depicting how terrible it is. Also, look how adorable you are. Ma'am, you're, you're pretty. I like your crown. I'm just gonna approach you. Uh-oh. It was a trap the whole time. Come on, bring it. Let's begin. So, we got a twofer here. You know, you got the Marlboro Menace, which I have, and you got... Oh, man. I, you know what? Probably not beneficial if I talk about it, because I, I should probably do the Libra, right? Everybody Stop wants the Libra. I mean, what is that thing on top? Um, you're not going to tell me because you're a dick like that. Okay, it's like the Princess Plan. Um, I, I actually don't know the name off the top of my head, but I'm, I, I'm willing to bet it's the Princess Plan. And she's absolutely adorable. And if you have a plan, that that is the potential right there. I mean, I know plans are like, oh, it's it's so pretty. You like me now? <laughs> but yeah, it turns into the princess plan. It's like, oh, that's that's adorable. It's super quiet, Destiny. Man, Gildum is such a doof right now. I apologize to a very 
specific extent because you know my my obligations have probably offended everybody uh, but at the same time, it's all relevant, bitches. Let's go kill this Marlboro Menace with its putrid fuck off breath. I, I would use the putrid breath right now, but chances are not good to do a thing. It's gonna be oh man, it, dance with oh this is a bad thing. Yeah, see, dance with me causes the berserk status. Not something we've really had to deal with, but at the same time, not something we all want. Flan Princess! Did I say Princess Flan? I got it backwards. So, what a base the Mirage with only one. Oh! Looks like that's not happening! <laughs> Fuck doing that shit. Um, just capture a normal Flan and then evolve it into that, because that's all you really need when doing any of this. Point is, let's, let's go fuck up this Marlboro Menace. I don't need it. Actually, I should probably. You might want it. You might want to know the specifics. I guess I should show off what happens if you try to imprison the Marlboro Menace or what you have to do. Uh, inflict a status element. Alignment. Ailment. Ailment. Gildemit's ailment. Not alignment. All I mean is totally something else. What, are you being... Are you being lawful? Chaotic? God, Gildan, you're such a doof. Just quit. Just quit right now. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I, I, I fucked up the Flan Princess, everybody. She's gone. No trouble at all. I don't need to deal with her. I don't need her ho hokum. Or whatever she has to dance with me. It's like... I can't pronounce, I can't say Berserk, apparently, because me being the two fire am, I'm thinking it starts with the, it, there's an, oh man, I got the memento for the Marlboro Menace, I didn't even need that, no, honestly, I think, at the very least, you just need to be level 17, and you're good to go with evolving the Marlboro Menace, I don't know if that's a, if that's a thing, or a mistake, or a glitch, or what have you, or just an oversight, probably more or less an oversight, but at the same time, uh, it is what it is, so I'm gonna end the video off here, I think the part's gone on pretty long, as it is, I might shuffle up everyone else, so you know, stay tuned, everything's gonna happen, uh, when we resume, it'll be pretty fantastic. We'll be out of this mire.